Peter tried to repress the familiar shudder as Kara's limbs elongated and she sprouted four more. Bristles poked out of her smooth skin. Her head grew large and her eyes multiplied. He rolled away from her. A spider, as big as a beach ball, stood quivering on the bed where Kara had been bucking and crying out in pleasure a second ago. The transformation was very fast and it only lasted a few minutes, mercifully. Peter tried to control his face and body so she couldn't see his fear, which never lessened. He hated spiders. But that had never come up when about two weeks in what had been the best relationship of his life, she decided to trust him and told him the reason why she hadn't let him make her orgasm so far. I turned into a spider, she murmured. Peter knew immediately she wasn't joking or mad, simply telling the bold truth. No one else knows. I never orgasmed with a partner before. She snuggled up to him. There was a mirror next to my bed when I was a child. I was, you know, experimenting. And then it happened. I could see the spider in the mirror. Peter couldn't say anything. She looked up at him, worrying shadowing her beautiful green eyes. You don't mind, do you? It doesn't change anything. Peter, I love you so much. I've never told anyone. I want to be with you properly. Let you do all the things to me. She pressed against him, naked, and his heart melted even as he became aroused. He drew her close and whispered, Shh. Baby, it's okay. I would love you if you turned into a worm, remember? They laughed, cried, and Kara opened up to him. Peter reached deep inside her and soon enough she orgasmed. That had been six months ago. He let go of her as soon as she started, so he wouldn't have to feel her body shrinking and ballooning, the limbs growing in the bristles. Oh, the bristles. He couldn't get used to it. He walked to the bedroom window. It was getting worse because now Kara's love had grown. She wanted him to hold her while she came, to pet her while she was in spider form. She wanted more. She never said so, but he knew by the look of reproach and longing on her beautiful face as she flickered back into human form. It was only a few minutes and everything else was perfect. A movement caught his eye. He turned. She was scuttling towards him. She had never done that before. Wordlessly understanding his aversion, she had always respected his distance while she was a spider, but now she was approaching. Peter took a step back, impulsively reached down, grabbed his slipper, and raised it. The large spider jumped on him and then bit, releasing a pint of poison into his blood. Kara flicked into human form and watched her lover thrashing in dying agony. <laughs> 